Everyone thought the strange hum in the sky was just another weather phenomenon. Everyone, except Dr. Aiden Cole, age 34. Aiden was tall but lean, with slightly slouched shoulders from years of bending over research tables. His sandy brown hair was always disheveled by habit, not style. Deep under-eye circles shadowed his sharp blue eyes, eyes that never stopped watching the world with quiet curiosity. He wore long-sleeved neutral shirts and kept a small leather notebook in his coat pocket, where he wrote ideas instead of sleeping. Beside him worked Lena Moore, 26, petite with soft features and tightly braided black hair that fell neatly down her back. Her hazel eyes were alert and constantly moving, scanning numbers and waveforms across glowing monitors. She had a calm presence, the kind that steadied storms. The hum intensified daily, a low vibration drifting through the clouds at dawn and dusk. Aiden finally identified it. Earth's magnetic field was oscillating, reacting to an unrecorded cosmic frequency passing through the planet like an invisible tide. But sound? Lena asked. We're not supposed to hear it. We shouldn't, Aiden replied quietly. Unless the frequency is interacting with the ionosphere. Then the impossible happened. People around the world began hearing something within the hum, whisper-like patterns forming words in countless languages. Not voices, messages. Radio interference confirmed it. Repeating mathematical sequences, equations describing planetary balance, ocean temperatures, climate shifts, and human pollution rates. Warnings hidden inside cosmic resonance. The sky hadn't learned to talk. The universe was transmitting data, and Earth was translating it into sound. Global panic erupted. Some called it prophecy. Others called it invasion. Aiden stood on the observatory balcony while the humming sky vibrated over him like a massive choir. Wind tugged at his sleeves as realization settled heavy in his chest. The universe isn't warning us, he told Lena. It's responding. The cosmic wave didn't attack Earth. It simply revealed the planet's own distress signals, amplified so humanity could finally hear them. The whispers faded after three days, but the silence afterward was heavier. Because for the first time in history, humanity knew something chilling. The planet itself had been speaking, and science proved we were the ones who needed to listen. Subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.